uh, Ross to uh, give a sense of the physical nature of that game out there? Uh, you know, it's always a physical game. Uh, I think every rivalry is physical, and you know, when you have two teams that like to run the ball, it's always going to be uh, extra physical, and you know, that's just something we expect with this game. Ross uh, gets committed three penalties, extended their drives, and they, they scored off of two of those. Um, you're, you're just your thoughts on that? What happened on the too many men penalty? Uh, I'm not really sure. For sure, there we, you know, we were coming out with the field goal, and I think we had different personnel in, and you know things just got mixed up. Brandon, did you get a sense you guys could move on this on this defense, especially with that last touchdown? That if you recover the onside kick, we can make something happen. Well, I definitely thought. Brandon, um, the two-minute drill has been pretty good. That's how you guys have scored the last however many points on on the on the road. What is it about that? And then you guys, you know, have you guys talked about should we do that sort of more often? A sense of their defense compared to some of the others who maybe you played this year? Uh, Ross, uh, Coach Bull said that they put in some of those runs with Jensen specifically for this. There was something he saw in your defense. Um, last week, quarterback had success running the ball. What, what do you think it is? Why, why is that that the quarterback seems to give you guys problems when, when he runs? Uh, you know, I'm not really sure on that. Uh, obviously, when they have two pullers in there, it's a little tougher for us to you know, get two guys out there and fit that like that. But, uh, you know, it's something that we work on. What did you see happen on the, or can you describe that big running play? The quarterback 60 yards for still running play. Uh, yeah, I think that was just a stretch play, like like Gary said. Um, they just had two pullers there and uh, got outside a little far and it cut right inside. Ross, what was that? Most of you guys just walked up the field as soon as the game was over, didn't stick around and watch. Um, what was that kind of feeling like? Uh, it's never a good feeling. Brandon, your thoughts now on, on next week and, and uh, not so much even that rivalry, but you, you want to get to that eighth win. Um, how does losing this game in close fashion you know, help or hurt or just kind of shape you now what's ahead? Ross, can you talk a little bit about the atmosphere? Do you kind of feel for your offense when they're they're out there? Because uh, that's when their crowd obviously gets into it the most. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a great atmosphere up there, out here for NDSU. You know, the fans really love this team, and uh, you know, I'm sure it's not too easy to hear the calls. Uh, had a couple you know, false starts that hurt us, but uh, you know, that's part of the game, and that's something that we know is going to happen up here too. Uh, Ross, could you talk about just how you guys you got in that ten nothing hole again like you did last week? Uh, what was sort of key to, to getting out of it and, and uh, you know getting uh, back to even? Uh, you just gotta keep playing. Uh, ten nothing. I mean, it was so pretty early in the second quarter, so a lot of game left. Um, we just kept our heads up, kept battling. Uh, there's always ups and downs in this game, especially. Uh, the key is to stay up as much as you can and keep battling because you know when you have two good teams going at it. Big plays both ways. Any 
further questions for the players? Uh, Brandon, um, you guys, uh, every, every football team is trying to play a perfect game, but in every game this season, you guys have, you know, sort of glaring areas where, where you can get better. Um, what's, what's your take on that, and how do you kind of try and eliminate, you know, the stuff that's just obviously hurting you? Anything else?